Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So you know we've talked about taxes, IRAs, SEP IRAs, Roth IRAs, all these things. Well, one thing that someone was asking me about was a uh, backdoor Roth IRA, right? And we're gonna dive into like understanding them, what are they, how to do them, stuff like that, right? So first off, let's start with what is a backdoor Roth IRA. A backdoor Roth IRA. It's it's not an official type of retirement account, but instead it's like an informal name. For a complicated but IRS-sanctioned method for high-income taxpayers to fund a Roth, even if their incomes exceed the limits that the IRS allows for regular Roth contributions, right? Brokerages that offer both traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs provide assistance in pulling off this strategy, which basically involves converting a traditional IRA into a Roth uh, variety, right? So, you know, keep in mind it's not a tax dodge, right? When you convert money from a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA, you owe taxes on the entire amount transferred in that tax year. But, as with any Roth IRA, you should owe no further taxes when you withdraw that money after retiring. So let's get into it, right? Let's understand backdoor Roths, right? So a Roth IRA, or a Roth 401k, allows you to set aside a few thousand dollars a year into a retirement savings account. The money deposited is post-tax, right? That means the income on those earnings is paid in the year the money is deposited, right? And that's different from a traditional IRA or 401k, which gives, you know, an immediate tax advantage by delaying the income taxes on the deposits until the money is withdrawn. But when withdrawals are made, the now-retired account holder will owe taxes on both the dollars invested and their earnings. So... The problem is that people who earn above a certain amount aren't allowed to open or fund Roth IRAs under the regular rules anyways, right? So let's get into that. If your modified adjusted gross income is well into six figures, the IRS starts phasing out the amount you can, you, uh, you can put in, right? So once your annual income exceeds a certain threshold, you cannot participate at all. Right, the limits you know, know vary dep uh, depending on your your taxpayer status. You know, single, uh, married, filed jointly. You know, all that stuff, right? Uh, and they're adjusted every year or so for inflation, right? So traditional IRAs don't have income limits, and since 2010, the IRS hasn't had income limits that restrict uh, who can convert a traditional IRA to a Roth IRA. So as a result. The backdoor Roth has become an option for high-income taxpayers who ordinarily couldn't contribute to a Roth. Okay, well, let's talk about how to make a Roth IRA, right? Or a backdoor Roth IRA, right? Because there's a few different ways to do it. Uh, the first method we want to talk about is to contribute money to an existing traditional IRA and then roll over the funds to a Roth IRA account. Or you can roll over existing traditional IRA money into a Roth as much as you want at one time, even if it's more than the annual contribution limit. Another way is to convert your entire traditional IRA account into a Roth IRA account. A third way is to make a backdoor Roth contribution uh, by making an after-tax contribution to a 401k plan and then roll it over to a Roth IRA. The custodial bank or brokerage for your IRA should be able to help, you know, all the kinks and inner workings, right? If you're dealing with a, a company 401k, you can contact the financial service company that manages your company's retirement savings plans, right? So only one Roth IRA conversion a year is permitted right? Tax implications of a backdoor Roth IRA, Whew, right? I mean, keep in mind, right? It's not a tax dodge. You still need to pay taxes on any money in your traditional IRA that hasn't already been taxed. So for example, you're going to put in 6000 to a traditional IRA and then convert that money to a Roth IRA. You'll owe taxes on the 6000 You'll also owe taxes on whatever money it earns between the time you contribute it to the traditional IRA and when you converted it to a Roth IRA, right? In fact, most of the funds that you convert to a Roth IRA will likely count as income, which could kick you into a higher tax bracket in the year that you do the conversion. However, 
you don't have to pay full taxes on the money, right? There's a there's a special rule that applies, right? Also, the funds you put into the Roth are considered converted funds, not contributions. That means you have to wait five years to have penalty-free access to your funds if you're under the age of 59 and a half, right? In this sense, they differ from regular Roth IRA contributions, which can be withdrawn at any time without taxes or penalties. So, on the positive side, a backdoor Roth IRA lets you get around some of these limits we're about to talk about, right? So, Roth IRA income limits. All right, so for 2021, if your modified adjusted gross income is higher than 140000 if you're single, right, or 208000 if you're married filed jointly, right, or a qualifying uh, widow or widower, you can't contribute to a Roth IRA. These limits don't apply to a Roth IRA backdoor conversion, right? And then there's Roth IRA contribution limits, right? You can contribute 6000 each year, 7000 you know, if you're 50 or older, to a Roth, right? With a backdoor Roth IRA conversion, these limits don't apply. All right, well, what are some of the advantages? All right, well, aside from getting around those limits, why would someone want to take the extra steps involved in doing the backdoor Roth IRA dance, right? Well, for one thing, Roth IRAs don't have required minimum distributions, right? which means account balances can create tax-deferred growth for as long as the account holder is alive. You can take out as much or as little as you want, when you want, or leave it for all your heirs, right? Another reason is that a backdoor Roth contribution can mean significant tax savings over the decades since Roth IRA distributions. Unlike traditional IRA distributions are not taxable, right? The main advantage of a backdoor Roth IRA, as with Roths in general, is that you're going to pay taxes up front on your contributions, and everything after that is tax-free. This characteristic is most beneficial if you think tax rates are going to rise in the future, or that your taxable uh, income will be higher after you retire than it is now. So let's do some special considerations for backdoor Roths, right? If you're thinking of taking this route, crunch the numbers... Right, and carefully consider the pros and cons of a backdoor Roth, especially if you're converting the entire balance of a traditional IRA. IRA conversions can be reversed in a process called a recharacterization. Right? However, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017 banned the strategy of recharacterization or recharacterizing a Roth back to a traditional IRA. Right? So, what are the key takeaways? Backdoor Roth IRAs are not a special type of account, right? They're tradi they are traditional IRA or 401k accounts that have been converted to Roth IRAs. A backdoor Roth IRA is a legal way to get around the income limits that normally restrict high earners from contributing to Roths. A backdoor Roth IRA is not a tax dodge. In fact, there's a, there's a chance you might pay higher taxes when it's established but the investor will get the future tax savings of a Roth account. All right, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and until I see you guys in the next video, y'all be safe.